Have you ever heard of Alice Guy Boucher? I'm a filmmaker. I've never even heard of that. I've never heard of Alice. I'd heard of her with one point. Uh, no, I'd never heard of her. I think people will think you're making it up. 1895, the Lumières present the first public demonstration of their new invention, the cinématographe, the first reliable method to project motion pictures. Among those invited, a young secretary, she thought, why not use film to tell stories? Alice Guy writes, directs, and produces one of the first narrative films ever made. Alice is one of the first to utilize many film techniques, including close-ups, hand-tinted color, and synchronized sound. Alice founds her own company, where she directs and manages all aspects of production. Following a two-decade career comprised of a thousand films that she wrote, directed, or produced, Alice disappears from filmmaking. How could such an important figure in the birth of cinema not be known? I was determined to do something about it. My name is Pamela Green, and I'm working on a documentary. Look at the films being made, a train coming into a station, waves breaking on a beach. Who cares? They're just boring subjects. You really needed people like Alice Guy to come in and show you there was more to the cinema than just a stock shot. She might be really one of the very first directors in the history of film. These are things that connect directly to her. Is that the remains of the family artifacts? Alice Guy Blaschet, an interview with Simone Blaschet. Oh my God! The acting and the scope of what she's shooting they were beautiful, artistic shots. She was a filmmaker of rare sensitivity with a remarkably poetic eye. Most of her films were lost. The stories in the films that did survive were groundbreaking and innovative. But the greatest story of them all was her own. <laughs>